This Casual Friday is brought to you by Gamefly. I have a bump on my head. Yeah? You wanna talk about it? No. So, um, okay, hey, you, 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 you had Garden Warfare this week. Mm-hmm. Which is a shooter. Yeah. I had Thief, it's stealth. Do you like stealth games? No. Do you like stealth games? Yes, with an asterisk next to it. Yeah, I'm yes with an asterisk. It's, it's sometimes they're fun, and sometimes they're just really slow. Mm -hmm. That's I think that's why I don't like them. Is the because sluggishness? they're so they're so slow, and they they punish you for playing it like a game. Mm. Like you're like, hey, I, I have a gun, <laughs> and I'm supposed to shoot people. This is what I am supposed to do. I feel like that has been true historically, but over time, more and more games are letting you shoot your way through them, like Splinter Cell. Like right. Blacklist was a great example of like you could just play that as a third-person shooter if you wanted to. But well, I, well, one of the things I had tons of problems with Thief is you could not sit and bonk everybody on the head yeah. and through it. It would just be, you, you just, it's, it's, it's not going to work. But you move quickly, like mm. in Dishonor. Like it's you know I, I, what I just hate is you know kind of the classic Splinter Cells like about two three in it's like. Waiting in the shadow, waiting for the AI to do the routine, which presents the opening. Yeah. So then I do that, and you know, like that whole idea. Like the minute you trigger an alarm, it's like, why is the game even like continuing? Just, just, re just restart me. If you because remember the original Splinter Cell used to do that thing where it'd be like, all right, Sam, you've been detected. We're yanking you out of the mission. Mission yeah. canceled. <laughs> Which is like, if, if they were that good to yank me out, why aren't those guys just doing the yeah, mission? Yeah, yeah. That's what I don't understand. Splinter Cell and Yank Ops coming 2015. <laughs> I, have, I have really fond memories, though, of playing the demo for that first Splinter Cell over and over, trying to perfect it. Because back in like the mid-aughts and before that, stealth was pure trial and error. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think the way you make stealth fun, though, is uh, did, did either of you play Mark of the Ninja, that 2D yep. stealth game? The, the thing that that game did that I think was so awesome was it gave you all the information all the time. So you constantly knew the sight range of your enemies, you constantly knew when you were in shadow, when you were in light, you knew how much sound, like if you threw an item, a ring of sound appeared around it, like they gave you all the data, so you never felt like the game screwed you out of something. It, when you lost in that game, it was your fault, mm -hmm. which is really important, I think. So, uh, when you're playing cells, I think the thing I go back and forth on is, I guess you want to have an AI routine so you can figure out mm -hmm. what to do, but then you're really just playing against the game and not like, hey, I actually want to, I'm trying to figure out if you could actually truly be sneaky and you have really smart AI, mm. if that, I would like that more or if that would be even more frustrating. I think that only exists in your first playthrough. Mm. I think if you get there, you, they're like, this is your one shot to be as stealth as you want to be before you learn how everything in this environment yeah. works. Yeah. I wonder if like, I mean, this new Metal Gear is going to be open world. Like, can you do an open world stealth game? Batman had a little bit of that, but I wonder if you can make a truly like semi-procedural stealth experience where you're not just depending on retrying and retrying and retrying until you get it right. It, it, it's a fascinating idea. I mean, I, is, is it traditional stealth? Is that how we're expecting five or well people zeros? What, what, what I don't know. If, now I'm confused. I, I can't keep track. Silent there's, Friends. So there's eight games. They are coming on three different discs, <laughs> and they are only available via USB. Um, I think uh, I wouldn't call it traditional because there's definitely a shot in that first trailer of Snake hiding behind a horse that's galloping on the yes. side of it. There is nothing traditional about horse stealth. Isn't there a character in that name also uh, in that game also named Hush? Like, Probably sounds about right. <laughs> it's sounds like, like Kojima. You need to you need to be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I, I actually I actually think Hush's name is the name of the woman. Like I'm not kidding. It's something. Yeah. yeah. I, well, no, wouldn't that be Shush? Yeah. Well, and Hush, yeah. there yeah. are a couple and. So you're giving Hido ideas right now. Be careful. <laughs> oh, good idea. He should, should rebrand <laughs> Metal Gear down. as Hush. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, just, no more. No it's more. It's written by <laughs> Chuck Palahniuk. It's going to be horrifying. <laughs> um, okay, my, my, my favorite thing about stealth is how we came to the assumption that if you crouch down, people don't see you. Yeah. Th that's how I live my life. Yeah? Yeah. You, if you, I, if you I, crouch? I'm like, nope, they can't see me right now. Well, isn't I'm good. Thief did a thing that sounded interesting. I didn't play it yet, but isn't there a thing there's like a sort of a crouched swoop. run? No, it's a swoop. It's really cool. Because what, what, what Thief does actually quite well, both with like these really neat animations when you're grabbing things, you can be quite smooth and fast about it, is you actually feel like you are a thief with preternatural skill at thieving. So you do that, and like if you're like in shadow, and the shadow there is a little bit of light. You go, 
Huh. And you kind of swoop into it, and it's like, yeah, because you know Garrett is better than me right. at thieving, or mm-hmm. else I would not be doing this, I thieve. See, I've been playing Blacklist lately, Splinter so Cell Blacklist, which does two things that are interesting slash weird. One of them is that you can hit A to basically run from the cover you're in to the cover you're pointed at, kind of like yeah. almost like Gears of War or something. Which is cool, but also makes me feel like I'm playing the game less. Well, it's, like, similar, it's, it's similar to Dishonored too, where you could do the blink. Yeah, yeah, kinda. I feel like the the way it works in Splinter Cell is so automated that it might as well be an iOS game. I could be tapping to do all that. The other thing about Splinter Cell that's weird is the way your suit is built. Um, you there are two lights on the back of the suit to indicate whether or not you're in darkness. And when you're in darkness, there's a bright green light on the back of the suit. <laughs> no one else that. I'm no stealth suit designer, but that seems like a horrible idea. A that, bright LED that only lights up when you're in darkness? That's to tell the player, it's time to go. <laughs> it's, light. it's go time. It's go time. Well, see, you can customize the light in Blacklist. You can customize everything. So mine was a pink light. So I had Splinter, like Sam Fisher with three pink dots right on the top of his head. Oh, that's adorable. Made the game way cuter. Oh, trust good, adorable. good. Because that's what you need is more cute Sam. That game could use it. It thinks it's 24, but now it thinks it's cute 24. Which is making it a lot more... 24, 24. with an exclamation point. Yeah. <laughs> 24 with an exclamation point. And, and, and the dot is a heart. Yeah. So... I think still my favorite stealth, not because of how it's implemented in a game, but just when you go third person in, in Skyrim, yeah. and you're stealthing, that's what I was trying to do when we did Twitch Plays Me. Mm-hmm. Oh, your um, crouch, yeah. That, yeah. Your, your crouch into the and just the, 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 the suspension of disbelief that the man going through a town like this is less easy to recognize than the person that's walking right through. Right. The fact that you were right in front of me when that was happening and I didn't even see it. Wow. Until you did. I watched the playback. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe it works great. It worked really well, well. I'll tell you guys one thing. I don't know where those bitcoins went. And with that, let's take a word from our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 8,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. Plans start at just $15.95 a month and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. Once you're done playing, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. You can support Rev3 Games and get a free 30-day trial when you sign up at Gamefly.com slash Rev3Games. 